hello friends welcome to my channel today we are going to design a water tank with a condition that the water rcc tank is there which is resting on the ground and l by b ratio is less than 2 right so we are going to design a rectangular water tank uh, where the length is given width is given and depth of the water is given right we have uh, chosen that the m30 should be used and fe415 is the steel used and the condition is that the tank is rest on the ground three types of condition are there that is the elevated uh, water tank the water tank rest on the ground and the underground water tank right so in this condition we are going to design a water tank rest on the ground by working stress method right so friends uh, this is the channel is the civil smart uh, in this channel we used to uh, to design the excel sheets that is all types of footings all types of columns and beams are there that if you want all these sheets you can contact me on my whatsapp number on my email id and i will provide you on these sheets okay i will explain you in detail uh, how the water tank is designed this is the condi for this condition you need to input your data in these pink cells only right so this is our water tank and the, this is the liquid phase where the water will be restrained and outer phase will always called as remote phase right this is the liquid phase and this is the remote phase so you need to find the design constant at, as we are designing it by the working stress method you need to find that the sigma cbc sigma st m k j and q right these are the formulas all the formulas has been inserted in these cells next the continuous frame action and the uh, continuous frame action and cantilever action will be there because for the condition l by b is less than 2 the two situations arises that h minus h that is upper portion will be designed as a continuous frame action and the bottom portion will be designed at the cantilever action right next is the we will find the continuous frame action in the fix and movements at point a will be calculated and distribution factor and movement distribution by this we will find the support movement and next the moment calculation will be there the band movement at the support will be calculated by the moment distribution and the center bending movement at the center will be calculated accordingly next the thickness of the wall will be calculated by this excel sheet you need to insert your data only in these sheets only right then the design of the long wall will be calculated at the support of the long wall and as well as at the center of the long wall design means you have you will find the ast how much the ast will be provided at the support and as well as the at the center next is the distribution steel what is the distribution steel will be calculated how much the distribution is still required next is the design of the short wall the support of the short wall and at the center of the short wall the ast will be calculated right next is the cantilever action for the bottom portion uh, and that is h is 1 meter i have already told you that l by b is less than 2 then the cantilever portion for this portion will be calculated finally the base slab will be designed and this is the plan all all the ast will be shown here in this plan right and these are the sections a and bb for these sections you will find the reinforcement detail right so let's start what the problem is given the rectangular water tank having the length is 5.5 meter the width is 4 meter you need to see this actual sheet how it works right the depth of the water is 3.2 meter in our case the depth is 3 meter freeboard you have to assume i will assume that free freeboard is 200 mm that is 0.2 meter right? fck we are using fck in our case is m30 right fy is 415 so total h total height of the tank is calculated as 3.4 3.2 plus freeboard right so this is l by b ratio has been calculated that is less than 2 it has been uh, written over here the top portion of the wall that is h minus h will be designed as continuous frame and uh, remaining small h that is small h if this h by 4 is less than 1 then it will be in 1 meter whichever is higher uh, bottom portion of the wall will be designed as cantilever right so next is the design constant we you need to find the design constant these are the tables given for the working stress method we are using m30 so you need to put only this value as 10 all the constants will be calculated right sigma st m k m is the modular ratio 280 by 3 sigma cbc k is the m sigma cbc upon m sigma cbc plus sigma st this is the formula and j is calculated and finally the q is calculated we will use this q in in later to find the depth 
or the thickness of the wall right so if you change this 11.5 that is for m35 the all the constants will be changed in our case this is m30 so we need to find this so continuous frame action i, I have already told you that that is the portion for 2.4 meter that is h minus h right h minus h will be uh, designed as a continuous frame action so water pressure as a depth as h minus h always gamma w is 10 so in multiply h minus h will be given as 24 kilo newton per meter square this this is the loading for the frame action water pressure at depth at this depth 3.4 meter this, this is 34 kilo newton per meter square next is the fix and movement i have already told you that the fix and movement that this is the water pressure and it will exert a pressure and this wall will move in the outward direction so at the end it will uh, move like this and the anti-clockwise movement will be there so that is uh, in the negative direction so mf ab fix and movement that is the formula at the fix end that is pl square by 12 so finally 60.5 is calculated and mf ad uh, that is pb square by 12 that is in a positive direction because it is uh, it is in a clockwise direction so distribution factor is calculated and we have a joint a the members are long wall ab and ad is the short wall this is the short wall so k is calculated for ei by l that is l is 5.5 and this is for shorter portion 4 meter so submission k is calculated 1.73 distribution factor is been calculated k upon sigma k by this we need we will find the moment distribution so that is the bending moment diagram for joint d a and b distribution factor then then the f fix and movements finally the balance you have to balance the balance the movement how you will balance that the difference of this will be multiplied by this portion you will get the 16.50 and you have to submit this the 48.50 is the moment and this is the negative 48.5 these are the final moments right so bending moment diagram is been calculated so we have find already find the bending moment diagrams that bending moment at the support is 48.50 bending moment at the center is pl square by 8 you, we know that for the simply supported it is pl square by 8 but this is in the negative direction this is in positive direction you need to subtract it minus ma that is 42.25 the bending moment at the shorter span that is the short wall will be the same pb square by 8 minus ma that is negative direction so it is in a tension right so next is the direct tension in the long wall so tension in the long wall will be created by the shorter wall length right so that is p b into t by 2 because we have two longer walls and direct tension in the shorter wall this is the shorter wall and the tension is created by this water depth that is the capital l so p into l by 2 is the direct tension that is been calculated as 66 kilonewton per meter thickness of the wall we have already calculated q above q has been calculated as 1.80 this is the movement movement is the maximum of these three bending moment at the support bending moment at the center of the long wall bending moment at the center of the short wall right so this is the maximum of the, these three b has al always been taken as the 1000 mm d required is been calculated as 164 adopt we will take d as small d as 200 mm and for the effective curve because it's a liquid retaining structure you need to take effective cover on the higher side we will take as 50 mm as the effective cover so overall wall thickness comes out to be 250 mm right so next is the design of the long wall at the support of the long wall right tension on the liquid phase what is this if this this phase this pressure is getting on the outward direction right so in this phase the negative movement will be created so tension will always be in the negative on the liquid phase right and in this particular portion at the center it will it will throw out in the outward direction so the bending moment will be like this the deflection shape will be like this so in the outer phase it will be tension and liquid phase will be in the compression right so in this case at the support tension on the liquid phase are you getting this point the bending moment at the support m is 48 already been calculated tension in the long wall already been calculated as tension in the long wall is 48 right so x the tension at the direct tension at the long wall is 
t minus t into x is the moment will be created in this in this direction that is the clockwise direction m is in the anti clockwise direction so you have to find the net moment so net moment will be m minus t into x that is 44.90 you all will always be calculated as a net moment we will calculate the x x is the half of the wall is it is 250 if you will take is as 250 then it is 300 and the finally the this is the half of the wall is 150 minus the effective cover effective cover is 50 so finally the x is 100 mm in our case we have taken 200 mm so this is 75 mm right so net movement is 44.90 so the move for movement this is the formula for ast1 you have to find the ast so this is m net upon sigma st jd i already been calculated as2 2 is the formula t by a sigma st is been calculated total ast required is been calculated if we choose 20 mm dia right for this portion so 20 mm at the rate 130 mm center to center on the liquid phase at the corner for the long wall this is the AST required on the liquid phase, inner phase. I already told you on the inner inner phase is the liquid phase and the outer phase is the remote phase. So on the inner phase, on the liquid phase, you need this one. Uh, so AST provided is always be greater than the AST required. So 2415 is the AST provided. Provide minimum AST 0.24% at cross section at the remote phase. The remote phase is remaining at the corner. So if the AST minimum has been calculated 16 mm, if we take the 10 mm minimum, so 10 mm at the rate 130 mm center to center at the remote phase at the corner for the long wall. So next is the design of the long wall at the center of the long wall. Tension on the remote phase. I already told you this water will exert a pressure on the outward direction. This will the deflection shape and the tension will be at the outer phase and the inner phase will be in the compression. So tension on the remote phase. Any movement at the center is 42 point this much 42.25 tension in the long wall 48 x is already been calculated net movement is been calculated ast1 as2 is calculated total ast required if we choose uh, this much is 20 mm 20 mm 140 mm at the remote phase at the center of the long wall right so for the minimum if we choose 0.24 percent of the cross section at the liquid phase right so 10 mm 130 mm center to center next is the distribution steel in the vertical direction so minimum is the 0.24 percent of the cross section area but there is a note and it, it is to be important note that d if d is less than 500 then the calculated reinforcement is divided equally on the both faces right so ast minimum is 600 or in our case the d is 250 mm so hence in each phase ast required is 300 mm right equally distributed so in in if we choose 10 mm so 10 mm 260 mm center to center at each face of the long wall in vertical direction right so distribution is still always be in the vertical direction so if we if we take our plan we have designed the long wall so in at the corner 20 mm at the 130 mm center to center vertical direction 10 mm distribution is still 10 mm 260 mm center to center right at the center outer face in the tension so 20 mm 140 mm center to center and the inner face 10 mm 130 mm center to center right next is the design of the short wall short wall will be designed as the same at the support of the short wall tension on the liquid face tension will be at the liquid face right tension will be at the liquid face same as the long wall same design we will assume 20 mm so 20 mm 120 mm at the liquid phase at the short wall we are designing short wall for the minimum ast provided remaining so 10 mm 130 mm center to center right at the center it is to be noted that at the center of the short wall at the center of the short wall this this is the minus 0.50 kilonewton meter is the moment so at the center the tension will be at the liquid phase right in this case the tension is at the remote phase but at the center of the short wall because it is a negative movement tension will be at the liquid phase right so tension on the liquid phase at the center of the short wall so this movement this total ast required is very much smaller in comparison to this if we choose a smaller dia 12 mm 
so 12 mm 150 mm on the liquid phase at the center of the shot wall minimum ast required at the remote phase so 10 mm 130 mm center to center right next is the cantilever portion i already told you that the remaining portion of whichever is higher as one meter will be designed as the cantilever portion so in this case the pressure at the bottom is 34 kilo newton per meter square and base is half this is the triangle half base gamma w into h into h h is the height and it will act at the cz h by 3 so finally the moment is 5.67 ast required by this formula is 253 but the ast minimum on each phase is already 300 so you have to take whichever is higher so ast on each phase is 300 mm if we take 10 mm so 10 mm 260 mm at the bo both phases finally the base slab design so as the slab is directly resting on the ground hence the nominal design can be done for the base slab so if we take 200 mm as the thickness then the thickness of each surface zone is 100 mm right so ast minimum on each face is 240 mm square already can calculated so if we assume a 10 mm 8 mm dia right so 8 mm 200 mm center to center and the both face in the top portion only we, you need to take in the upper portion only right so this is the plan we have designed the short wall in the short wall at the center that is uh, provide 12 mm 150 mm center to center we have this is the 12 mm 150 mm center to center on the liquid phase right in the inner phase inner phase will always be at the liquid phase this is the plan and if we cut the section aa this is the aa for the longer wall section so all the reinforcement has been calculated for the base slab 8 mm 200 mm for the both side and for the section bb for the shorter wall we have cut at the center so you need to take this reinforcement right in the vertical direction so these vertical are the distribution reinforcement this is the main reinforcement at the center 12 mm 150 mm center to center and the both ways for the slab is same the thickness of the base slab the full slab is 250 mm and the thickness of the base slab is 200 mm right this is section a section bb so friends this is the actual sheet where we can design the whole water tank for the condition l by b is less than 2 so if we change our values all the values will be changed like uh, the length is 6 meter and the depth of the water is 3.5 meters right so h will be changed l by b ratio is already less than this much right sigma cbc is 10 the value for continuous frame is changed fix and movement is changed the mm -hmm. this is final movements be changed to 63 all the movements calculation will change the thickness of the now in this case we can enhance our thickness to 250 mm so finally the 300 mm is the thickness of the wall so design for the this is changed as 20 120 mm already been changed right distribution steel is required has been changed the shorter wall design the criteria will always be the same for the design so friends if you like this video please subscribe this channel for more design videos and if you want this actual sheet please contact me on my whatsapp thanks for watching